there, my crypto big brothers and sisters and Papa Ron. What's happening, brother? <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. How are you? you know, I'm doing wonderful. Thank you. In fact, if I was any better, I'd probably be twins. <laughs> <laughs> The boy in the world would really be in trouble. I have a son that uses that quote a lot. He he likes that. Yeah. How are you? If I was any better, I'd be twins. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then the world would be twice in uh, uh, anyway, be two times in trouble. <laughs> uh, folks, yeah, we're actually doing uh, three videos today. Uh, one won't be on for a little while, but the one we did a minute ago is actually the third, and this is number two. So this one should be before the one we just did. So Rod and I were sitting here talking about that a little bit, and um, not that they're in sequence, but anyway, I think we're going to put this one on before that one we just did. Is that correct, Rod? Yeah, I reckon. I reckon. Yeah, whatever happened. Well, let's start off with Facebook, since they've been in the news the last month, scum dogs. Yeah. Um, okay, did you, did you see that? You know, uh, Zuckerberg, did you see him in front of Congress? No. They were really poking fun at him because on, you know, they folks, I watched some of those, not the whole deal, but they call these people in before the, the House committee, and, you know, they have a, a, a group yeah. of congressmen and... And they have a table out front, and, and the person sits there that's got to testify, and generally he might have his attorney with him or whatever. But and he's sitting way down. They're sitting way up. Yeah, it's that old it, – yeah, it drives me – just like a judge, too. I mean, who are these guys? You know, anyway. So Zuckerberg – Don't elect them. Buck, don't, <laughs> Rod, we're going to get some hats made for you. <laughs> One term only, baby. That's right. So they got Zuckerberg in there testifying about um, all the personal data that these guys are selling off to businesses and stuff and and how crooked it is. But they have him sitting on a big old cushion on his chair, almost like a high chair. Now, this guy's wealthier than wealth, you know. I mean, he defines yeah. wealth, so I can't talk much about it. But um, it's interesting how these guys, they make a little money, and all of a sudden they think that they're – opinions are worth anything to to the majority of the people they all want to be politicians and you know it's like hey my view counts um because i have money i mean you just lucked into this facebook thing i mean go back and read the history about it he shortchanged the twinkle voss what'd you call him rod Tw uh, yeah twitter twins <laughs> no it's <laughs> Twink, Twinkle Voss twins. Yeah, Twinkle Voss. I think yeah. they won a big lawsuit against Zuckerberg because they were part of the Facebook thing originally. I think. Anyway, they put all their That's money into Bitcoin, money. them old boys. <laughs> open Gemini. Anyway, let's move on. So Facebook here. Facebook may be building a Bitcoin competitor. Facebook wants their own coin. Oh, wow. Facebook's looking, looking into developing its own cryptocurrency similar to Bitcoin, according to a new Cheddar report. The company's blockchain team, so Facebook has got out there and hired developers and a team to get, face, to get blockchain involved within Facebook. Do you see how important this stuff is, Rod? Blockchain is in everything, or it will be eventually. We'll be yeah, eventually. look here. PayPal is even involved in it. Yeah, we've done oh we've done reports on PayPal. But what did it say? Yeah. What'd you read on this? Well, I just said which uh, the the company blockchain team, which is being led by former PayPal executive oh. David Marcus. <laughs> probably got a, he, the, huh? he probably got a pay raise coming over to Facebook. <laughs> yeah. Gonna hook up with PayPal. Look at that! They, Facebook has over two plus billion members. Do you think this is going to bring a little bit of mass adoption into uh, the crypto world? The world, yeah, you at, betcha. At least awareness, huh? Yeah. And these yeah. people know it. All these big companies know it, folks. And now they even want their own coin. Well, yeah. we're not going to belabor you with this uh, article. Yeah. But uh, what Rod and I got thinking about this. <laughs> And it deals with our mindset, where we're at mentally with all this. Now, those of you that have been following our show or, or all the shows out there on YouTube, 
I mean, you're either converted that this stuff is rolling forth or you're still skeptical. I mean, we try to bring news things to the forefront of how big this thing is getting every week, sometimes every day. And if, if these articles aren't converting you to where this is headed, I mean, and maybe you are converted, and maybe you're in a, a just the beginning stages, we don't know. But um, it's, it's where your head is with this that's going to make the changes. Now, in some of our videos, Rod, um, we've talked about people need to reevaluate where they are financially, too. Yeah. Um, we did one video that talked about, hey, if you got heavy yard sale, get rid of all that crap sitting in the garage that doesn't anybody any good. <laughs> Yeah, if you haven't used it in six months, get rid of it. And I put, it, I put my flags up so I can hide all my junk. <laughs> like Rod is one to talk. Oh my heck! <laughs> I know. Hey, he used to live in Texas, and my and his sister, my uh, previous wife, we lived in uh, Utah. And one year, Rod, I don't know if you remember this, we went out to visit you folks and and your parents and my wife's parents, and remember we had a big garage sale. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, we just we, we just started hauling all your crap onto the front lawn, man. <laughs> I don't know what it was, but you took in quite a bit of money that Saturday. I think I think I got a couple of grand just just for a spur of the moment thing. <laughs> well, for stuff that's just been sitting there doing nothing. Like, hey, Rod, like he probably had two sets of golf clubs in there. Nah. The guy, the guy hasn't golfed since like 1963. I mean. <laughs> But this is the way we all are. We accumulate this stuff thinking we either got a sentimental attachment to it or thinking it's something we're going to need in the future. And I'm not saying everybody needs to have a garage sale. Um, yeah, we do. Everybody's got something in the attic or in the basement or something that they haven't used in a while. And if you haven't used it, go sell it and, and put it and invest it in Bitcoin. Or stop a cube. Of course, here I am talking because I got I got a lot of stuff. Well, maybe this video is for you today, Rod. Yeah, I think that's exactly what I was saying. You know, we can point our finger, but if you look at the hand, when you point, there's three fingers pointing back. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> and it's not just selling stuff. I mean, maybe it's the mindset we all have of, of always being buying stuff i i have a i have a couple kids that they think they're the way they solve all their problems is just go out and buy something new they're forever buying things well you know talk about a mindset that we're talking about there is something about stress relief about buying something my 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 ex was real good about when she got stressed she bought stuff <laughs> Well, yeah, we see those habits within us, even eating. It's a comfort thing. It brings comfort to our soul by eating foods. Um, I know. Look so, at so me. We, I'm, we do I'm that. real comfortable. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, so look at this quote here um, by Steve Jobs, Rod, and this kind of ties in a little bit. Older people sit down and ask, what is it? And the younger generation says, what can I do with it? You see the yeah. difference in mindset there? Oh, and that's, yeah. that's these millennials. They can grab that's a hold right. of these things. They like, grab a hold of all this electronic stuff and this new stuff that's going on. And, I, and my, my grandkids can take a take a phone or a computer and, run, and, and learn it within five minutes. Hell, I'm still trying to learn it. <laughs> and I grew up with it. <laughs> yeah. Well, they just have a knack for it. But, but, I tell you. And, and we know that mindset is established kind of by... You know, maybe how you're raised and the involvement you get in certain things in school. I mean, that all creates that mindset within us and and our habits and those things. Um, but it, it's time to break some of those. Talk about habits. Um, let's look at this here. It's an interesting thing. And then I want to talk a minute about this. Stress kills your brain. Now, folks, I don't know how accurate this is, but it makes sense to me. Studies show that months of exposure to stress can permanently destroy neurons in your brain, which affect learning, 
reasoning, impulse control, and memory. So that quote kind of brought those, those neurons to my mind, and I had read some stuff about that in the past, about how, I pulled up an image, Rod, about how these, when, when you do certain things, these neurons in your brain attach and create familiar, familiarity with that or create a habit. For example, if you're used to waking up at 7 o'clock in the morning or eating breakfast at 8, your brain establishes that pattern within it. And, and that's what you kind of, it's a habit. You, you've established that. It's that mindset kind of. But these neurons can be broken and you can change those habits. So as you create new habits, now you're probably wondering how this applies to crypto. I'm hoping we can tie it in. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm getting all stressed out here now. <laughs> no, it does tie in because we have the habit of forever <clears throat> purchasing stuff. Um, you know, we, we feel that buying things, just like Claudia Rod, your ex-wife, uh, for, forever buying stuff solves that stress within us or those feelings of depression. So by changing the patterns and getting out of those habits and creating new neuron attachments within us, create new habits. Yeah. So if it's a habit to smoke every day or whatever it is, folks, you can break those habits. It takes effort. And I think I read, too, that it says these these thoughts or these um, tendencies never leave the brain. They're always there. But they have been broken for new ha habits. So it's real easy to adapt back to the old habit if you let it. So it does take a while to keep that thought press process going. Yep. So yep. how it ties into crypto, you, you got to let go of the old and, and get into the new. Not necessarily the new crypto field, but you got to get into the new mindset of cutting back Folks, we're talking about your financial future. Well, crypto is giving you a way to become financially independent. And if we're not using it or taking advantage of it, I think we're going to be regretting the day that we don't. So let's get out of the old habits of going for that Twinkies and Coke every day, which reminds us, Rod and I, when we work together... <laughs> oh, Rod... He taught me some terrible habits, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> and those neurons only took about a day and a half to connect, and I was hooked. Okay, we'd have a, we'd have a meeting, and uh, get the day organized, and Rod and I would head off. And first stop was Circle K, baby, chocolate milk and powdered donuts. <laughs> then you wonder why we look like we do. <laughs> And you we've been on donuts ever since. <laughs> yeah, you remember those good old days anyway. Uh, but fun. that kind of became a habit. And and Rod, he broke that habit of the chocolate milk. He started carrying a 64-ounce mug for Diet Coke. Now, 64, no, it was 120. It was a gallon almost. Oh, that's pint size compared to what you used to carry. Well, this is a quart. But yeah. they, you know, you're right. They had a big old... Well, my my son was down from I gotta tell this little story. My son was down from from Vegas and 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 I was talking about my jug about the kids they used to. I hated it. I hate anybody to drink after uh, me to, for me to drink after anybody, even my kids, because that's the way you spread disease. Anyway, that's a long story. And I got a real fetish about it because of these neurons are set up the wrong way. <laughs> anyway, yeah. anyway, he he mentioned, and here he is, 45 years old, and he, he mentioned to me, he says, yeah, we'd sneak them drinks, but God, it tasted so bad, Dad, because it's so watered down. <laughs> yeah, your Diet Cokes. With, with ice would melt, because in Texas, you know, it's hot and humid, and, and man, it ice melts really quick. But I, anyway, it was fun. Well, I'm sorry to take you. No, oh. we're glad you did, Rod. We're glad you did. But, folks, here's your chance. Change the habits you're doing. Cut Absolutely. back where you can. Invest in you and your future. Because this thing is going to break wide open one day. And no telling how soon or how long it's going to take. But it's time to get ready. Um, and, learn you... about, and, and learn about crypto. If you don't know about it like the kids, uh, like that other quote, Put that first quote on, Ron. 
<clears throat> where it says, you know, what can I do with it? So find out what your crypto is. Knowledge, and, and Benjamin Franklin also said about knowledge, he said an investment of knowledge pays the best interest. So if you know about, if you like the, the more you know about crypto, the better you're going to be and the more interest you'll earn. I'm going to learn a lot of money with it, too. You can earn a lot of money with it. And that's what these these uh, millennials are, are so good with that. They can pick this stuff up and run with it. Me, I have to walk. <laughs> well, <laughs> but, but they could see the future in it. We, yeah. we are so mindset with our old systematic ways of... You know, look how long it took us to convert from using dollar bills to visas. Uh, I still yeah. use the dollar bills, but it's a conversion process, and it takes time. It's a lot more time consuming, or it takes more time for then us older think. folks. Yeah, yeah, it does. We're, we're set in our ways. But we can change, and we can do it. We can do look it. Look at Ron and I. Look at Ron and I. We're old. Well, I'm old. He's still a young whippersnapper. But, you know, we, 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 we're still learning with this stuff. And I'm slower than Ron. <laughs> no, we're just fine. That's why we work as a team. There you go. All right, folks, have a good weekend. You too. Thumbs up. God bless.